happening, friends and neighbors? I'm the Razor. Welcome to the Lair. This is where I'll be giving regular updates on things happening in the world of movies and television shows based on comic books. And there's a whole bunch of them. Warning, there may be an occasional little spoiler. Me, I love a spoiler, no problems. Now, let's move on. We are going to start this episode with a huge movie this summer, The Avengers Age of Ultron. The end of the film sets up a new group of Avengers who have now been confirmed to appear in Captain America Civil War, which arrives in your theaters on May 6th of next year. The movie's plot centers around Captain America and Iron Man, who are at odds, imagine that, over political pressure to make superheroes register with and be overseen by the government. This causes lines to be drawn and all of our heroes taking sides. Expect to see a big roster of heroes, including the first crossover for Ant-Man, played by actor Paul Rudd. This movie looks awesome, I'm telling you. If you haven't seen the trailer, check it out. Looks like it should be another hit and another good expansion to the ever-growing Marvel Cinematic Universe. The movie is out July 17th. Take a look at the poster featuring the entire cast in the flick. Rudd's character, Scott Lang, is a former thief trying to set his life straight after the original Ant-Man, played by Michael Douglas, recruits him to use a suit that shrinks his size but increases his power. Ooh, shrinkage. Not so sure if that's a superpower I would want. But uh, definitely looking forward to the film on the boob tube. Yeah, lots of stuff going on there. Supergirl, starring Melissa Benoist in the title role, has been picked up for a full season by CBS. The show is produced by the team that brought us Arrow and The Flash. This has everyone guessing as to when a crossover between the heroes will happen. Despite the shows being on different networks, the series creators have suggested that that is inevitable. So we may see a small screen Justice League. That would be so awesome, I think. In other TV news, this year's hit Daredevil is confirmed for a second season. The 13-episode Netflix series about a blind lawyer who's a vigilante by night came out swinging and has given fans something big to look forward to. With upcoming shows, a.k.a. Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage, who are all set to form the Defenders, it appears that Marvel has raised the bar once more for what's expected. So looking forward to that as well. So there you have it. If you're a fan of movies based on your favorite comic book characters like I am, big time, it's a great time to be alive, people. I'll be back soon with more updates. If you want to contact me, you can email me at razor at See you soon.